Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of June. We're halfway there folks, halfway through the year. The time is flying. Um, I want to thank everybody for subscribing, subscribing to my channel, for liking my videos, for um, the purchases, for you know giving thumbs up, sharing, all of that stuff. I want to remind everybody that this is just a general reading, so it's not going to apply to every Sagittarius out there. So if you, um, if this reading resonates with you, that's great. Um, I'm glad that I can give you a reading for free. And if um, it doesn't and you would like to get a personal reading, email me. My email address will be at the bottom of the video. And I will get back to you within 24 hours. And I usually have readings out within 48 hours. Okay, I'm using the Gilded Tarot this month. Um, I just bought this deck so I'm pretty excited to use it this month and this um, rather than having uh, using Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels I am using uh, the Psychic Tarot for the Heart okay I'm going to let one card fall out from this deck okay so uh, what I normally do is I shuffle till only one card falls out all right and uh, those are called clarity cards and jumpers. I, I feel that those cards are the important ones um, that are meant to be read. More than one card falls out, I put them back in the deck. Because, um, you know, I, I can't read seven or eight cards that fall out. It has to be one at a time. And sometimes it takes a while for these cards to come out. So bear with me when I'm shuffling and waiting. A little bit about myself as well. I'm uh, clairsentient. What that means, it's a heightened form of empathy and it can feel past, present and future um, in uh, when I read people. So what I do is I read people and I read cards and reading people is where I shine and I do my best work. Um, that's where um, I would say my, my um, uh, uh, what is, what's the, my, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? The, my, um, uh, I'm 90% on, I guess, is, is, is what I'm trying to say. I'm bang on when it comes to reading people. So the way I read people is that, um, I can read, I can read what a person feels. So if you're in a relationship and you don't know what this person is feeling for you, I can feel if they're in love with you, I will feel love. If this, if this person feels like it's going somewhere, I feel like this is progressing and going somewhere. If I feel like this guy or this girl is untrustworthy, I feel like I'm untrustworthy. I feel that they are shady. I feel that they want to walk away or I feel that they're committed and they want to stay or if they're hurt or they're scared or whatever the case is. And I'm bang on. I really am. People really um, can't believe how well I can read a person. So I will, I will do a reading on the person and then I will um, do tarot cards and the tarot cards usually back up my intuition. So, all right, what is, oh, that one came flying out. What is the message for Sagittarius for the month of June? Sagittarius for the month of June. 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 What is the message for Sagittarius for the month of June? Two cards fell out. I'm going to put those back. Sagittarius. These cards are slippery because they're brand new too. Sagittarius for the month of June. Oh, that one slipped out. Sagittarius for the month of June. Sagittarius for the month of June. Sagittarius for the month of June. What is the message for Sagittarius for the month of June? A bunch of cards just fell out onto the floor. Sagittarius for the month of June. All right. 90% accurate is the word that I'm saying. Accurate. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Sagittarius for the month of June. What are the messages for Sagittarius for the month of June? I've been reading people all my life. 
and it's card reading that I've picked up about seven, eight years ago, which I, I really like to do, but it doesn't come as naturally for me as reading people. It's so easy to read a person because I just pick up their emotions so quickly, you know? All right. What is the message for Sagittarius for the month of June? Month of June. All right. Okay. So the first card we have here is the card that is the hangman, okay? So the hangman represents the relationship. So here's this relationship. It's a limbo. What's this guy doing? Hanging in limbo. I like to call this card like a hung jury. This guy's hung, you know? It's like a hung jury. No decisions made. It's just there. It's hung. This is not an action card. It's just kind of staying still. Um, the hurt, this is the hangman. So the hangman talks about um, bored with life, perhaps, okay, um, a static relationship, um, taking control, relinquishing control, give it up, give up control, all right, and sometimes you have to take a step back to move forward, so perhaps for this month, this relationship is just nothing's going to move. It's just going to be static and um, uh, you just kind of have to let, let go of control this month. Okay. All right. So next card we have here is what's going on in their mind. And we have the chariot and the chariot represents um, a card of um, diligence. So in their mind, this the person, okay, in their mind, they're diligent. They've got willpower, honesty. It's about perseverance. So this person in the relationship um, is persevering still. All right. Um, and they're sticking to this relationship. Maybe nothing's going on, but it's about being successful. And it's about determination to win. Okay. All right. So then we have you. The Eight of Cups. Um, the Eight of Cups, what's going on in your mind, it's about withdrawal, retreat, maybe moving on. So this person, so there's nothing going on in this person's, you know, nothing going on in the relationship. It's pretty static this month. All right. It's kind of saying give up control for now. They're sticking with it in their mind. You know, they're being diligent. They've got the willpower to keep going. You're going, I don't know about this. The Eight of Cups talks about kind of just abandoning and withdrawing for a while. Or in your mind, you might want to start thinking, you know, I'm done with this. I'm moving on, retreating, you know. So you might be at the point where you just don't know what to do anymore. So, you know, you might have to just kind of like walk away from the situation. All right. Their emotions and feelings is the Nine of Pentacles. All right. So the Nine of Pentacles talks about... Um, being resourceful. Okay. So emotionally they're being resourceful, um, knowing you they're in control of the situation. It's, um, enjoying the final, finer pleasures of life. It's the inner sense of security. Um, it's self-discipline. Okay. So this person knows what they want. Okay. All right. Now here you are, the eight of wands in your emotions and feelings. You just need a message. You're waiting for that message. The eight of wands is about just waiting. Okay. The messages are coming because you can see that the, the wands are in flight. They've already taken flight. And the eight of wands talks about um, getting your priorities sorted out, uh, making clear your intentions, taking swift action, receiving an important message, discovering a missing link, reevaluating decisions, might be reevaluating here, you know, um, your thoughts. Okay. Um, and things are just kind of up in the air. All right. But I think you're going to be getting some sort of a message um, that will make your emotions feel a little bit better about this. Okay. All right. So how they represent themselves on the outside, we have the Empress. Okay. And the Empress represents, um, uh, focusing on there, you know, focusing on beauty and art. Um, it's about someone who's in harmony, um, being extravagant. It's sensual awareness. This person here that you're involved with knows what they want. They're just not really doing anything about it this month. You want action. Okay. All right. And then there's you here, how you represent yourself on the outside. And it's the ace of swords and the ace of swords. 
um, talks about perhaps turning over a new leaf. Okay, it's about clarity, truth, honesty, justice. It's about um, analyzing your emotions. It's about establishing what is right and wrong. Um, cutting through illusions, using logic, facing the facts. So you on the outside are being showing yourself as being very logical. Okay. All right. When on the inside, you know, um, in your mind, you're wanting to walk away. And here, this is you needing more information to make some more choices here. Okay. All right. So that is your reading. I am going to have one card fall out from this deck. What is the message for Sagittarius? For the, oh, here we go. Shine. That came out for somebody else too. Another, another um, sign. This is the sun card, I believe, in the tarot, in the normal tarot deck. And yep, it's a sun card. All right. This card symbolizes the positive and powerful energy that now surrounds you. By embracing this energy, you can improve current relationships and draw new ones to you. See yourself in a glowing orb of brilliant golden light. Believe in the power of this light to infuse your relationships with enthusiasm, life, and greater love and understanding. See it moving forward, surrounding all of the people you know and filling them with joy and hope. Visualization can be quite powerful, so use it to magnetize and attract what you want in your life. It's also time for you to let your own light shine. You are an amazing being. You're magnificent. Realizing and believing this is the key to unlocking your personal potential. Be confident in your dealings with others. Use your talents to point relationships in positive, empowering directions. Letting your own light shine will act as a beacon to attract others to you. People of like mind and similar vibration. It will also encourage others to let their own light shine. Harness the amazing energy surrounding you and shining from within you. Use this energy to break through any obstructions that stand in the way of complete happiness. Know that you deserve the best. People are attracted to you when you are joyful, enthusiastic, and confident. Radiate these qualities into the world and see what beautiful things you attract. All right, everybody, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. And again, if you'd like to get a private reading, email me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, I hope you have a great month of June. Bye-bye.